Welcome to Core Program. In this video, we'll discuss about how to rename the www root folder in sp.net Core. Before starting this video, please go through our previous video of static file in sp.net Core, where we discuss how to solve the static file in www root folder. In the standard sp.net application, the static file can be solved from the root folder of an application or any other folder under it. Like in sp.net application or sp.net MPC application, if you have a CSS or JS file, we can place the static file in the root folder or any other subfolder in the application. But this has been changed in sp.net core. Now only those files that are in OEV root or WW root folder that can be solved over HTTP request. All other files are blocked and cannot be solved by default. By default, WW root folder in the sp.net core application is treated as OEV root folder. Inside the WW root folder, the static files are recommended to store in different folders like images are in images folder, CSS are in CSS folder and if there is any javascript.js file then it can be stored in JS folder. You can access the static file with the base URL and the file name. For example, if you want to access the image inside the www root folder then the URL should be http localhost, then your port number, then the folder name is images, then image1.png. Also, we have discussed on previous video, to solve the static files, we need to add the middleware app.use static files. In this video, we basically discuss how to the rename www root folder. Suppose you have created a real-time project, maybe a template management or customer management, and you want to solve the static file instead of www root, you have to put your custom name. So, how to do this? Let's flip to Visual Studio and we'll see how to rename the www root folder and also see how to access the static files there. This is the same application that we used in our previous video. Here we can see we have a CSS, we have a images and a HTML is there also. Let's rename the www root folder. Let's say my content. Open the startup CS, remove all these things. To solve the static file, we need to add the middleware app.use static files. Let's run the application and see the static file is served or not. Change the URL like image2.jpg is present in images folder. So type here images slash image2.jpg. You can see now 404 not found error will come. This is because our custom web root folder is not served the static files. To solve the static file, we need to change in program.cs file. Stop this application. Open the program.cs. Let's block this. Here we need to declare var host equal to new wave host builder. Then dot use kestrel. Then dot use wave root. Then we need to set the folder name. Our folder name is my content. Just copy this and paste here then dot use content root directory dot get current directory then dot use IIS integration then dot use startup then we need to call the startup class then dot build then finally add first dot run then simply comment this code let's discuss for the purpose we use this line of code as you know every sp.net core web application require a host to be executed in the above main method, we configure a web hosting environment for the sp.net core. We declare bare host equal to new web host builder. The web host builder class is the helper class to create the configure a host for a web application. So first of all, we have to create an object of it. Then what is use kestrel? The use kestrel method is an extension method which specifies kestrel as an internal web server. If you are new to the kestrel web server, then please go through our previous video. The Kestrel is an open source cross platform web server for an sp.net core. Then we specify use webroot, then our the folder name. This is because 
the use web root specify the web root directory to be used by the web host. If you go to the definition, you can see it belongs to IO host builder interface. Then let's discuss what is use content root directory get current directory. The use content root method specifies the current directory as an root directory, which will be SRC folder in the default SP.NET core project. The content root directory determines where the content files are located such as mbc view files, css, images, etc. Then use IIS integration method specify the IIS as the external web server or the reverse proxy server. The use startup method specify the startup class to be used by the web host. Visual Studio creates startup CS by default with every new SP.NET Core application. The startup class is like global.axx of .NET framework. And finally, we have declared the build method. The build method returns an instance of IOF host using the configuration specified the above. Using the build method, we build our hosting environment and it's time to start the web application. Then finally, we declare the host.run. The run method starts the web application and blocks the curling thread till the host is shut down. So all these changes has been done and now run the application and let's see our web root folder that is my content folder is ready to solve the static files or not. Let's run the application. You can see the hello world response is printed. To show this image we need to navigate, write images then image2.jpg. You can see now the image is so. To following this line of code, we rename the www root folder with our custom folder and access all the static file. For more details, you can go through the core program website. Here you can find the source code and what we discuss in this video, all these steps are written step by step. Do like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.